Yes, in this video, we are going to see uh, the queue implementation using array in C++, the execution of the program. Here, uh, we have declared the maximum length to be 10. And then in this, we have declared a class called queue, where it consists of two pointers, rear and front, where through front, you will remove the data. Through rear, you will add the data through this pointer. Now, this is an array. As we are going to see the array implementation, we have declared an array called Q array and maximum length is 10. So here, index starts from 0 to 9, totally 10 values. Now, in this constructor, we have first initialized rear equal to minus 1, front equal to 0. So in this case, it is said to be the Q is said to be 0. That is, there is no element in the Q. So in order to check any empty conditions, you have to check whether it, uh, the rear is equal to minus 1 and front equal to 0. In which case, it says... Uh, we can we know that there is no element in the queue so here we are having these are the following member functions e full empty n queue d queue destroy queue print queue peak peak will print the first value that is the front portion so what the front is for front uh, pointer is pointing that value will be printed then size queue how many elements are currently in the queue now e is full it uh, checks whether what is the value rear value if the rear has reached the end of the array that is maximum length minus 1. If max length is 10. 10 minus 1 means 9. So if it has reached 9, which is nothing but 0 to 9. That is why the length is 10. So if it has reached that, then it returns that Q is full. Else it returns a 0. Is empty if rear is equal to minus 1. That is what here we have done in the constructor. So rear equal to minus 1 means it returns 1. Else it returns a 0. That is Q is empty. Then NQ adding a value into the queue that can be done only using the rear pointer so first before uh, nq we have to, we should be assured that there is some space in the queue so that can be done by checking is full if it is returning if it is not returning a one which means there is some space in the queue so now you will just increment the rear and then in that queue array you use that pointer you place this data else uh, if it returns a zero, may if it returns a, if it returns a one, mean that the queue is full. Okay, there is no space to add. That will be printed on the screen. Then DQ. DQ is to remove an element. An element can be removed from the front pointer. So here we have that uh, before, uh, while removing, we store that data also in a separate temporary variable in order to return to the main program. So this is our uh, temporary variable. And then here we check whether uh, queue is empty. Why this we are doing is, if there is any element only, we can remove. So we are checking whether Q is having some value. How you can do by checking is empty. If it is empty, you cannot, there is no element to be removed. So that can be printed here in this else condition. If it is not, if empty is not returning one, which means some value is there, then we are going to remove the value from the front pointer. So here in del data, Q array of front. After the assignment of the statement, the front value is assigned in that. Now we have to remove the, uh, we have to move the rear to point, uh, front to point to the next element. So that we are doing. Before doing that, we have to check whether both front and rear are same. That means only one element. In which case, if you remove that element also, now again the queue becomes empty. So that you have to make sure that the pointers are manipulated accordingly. So you check whether front equal to rear. That is, that is the only one element. In which case, you make front equal to 0 and rear equal to minus 1. By manipulating this pointer, we say that queue is empty. Else, there is some more value. It is not the only one element. Then you just make the front to point to the next element. Now, the queue, uh, if this condition is not met, then you say queue is empty, con delete. Then you return the deleted data to the main program. Then peak. Peak is nothing but here what we do is, Yeah, what we do is, is empty here again. Uh, before uh, printing anything, there must be some value. So for that, we check this, whether any data is there. If it is there, if there is no data, then you say print queue is empty. Else you print the front portion of the array. Then print queue. Here what we do is, uh, we are printing. Again, print before printing, there must be some value. So that we are sure by this is empty checking. Then using a for loop, we print the value which is stored in the uh, uh, from front to rear, we print the value uh, that we assign to the temporary variable i. This is a loop variable. So starting value is assigned to front until it reaches the rear, we print the value. Then destroy queue. 
if you manipulate a pointer itself it means that the whole q is lost so you just make real equal to minus 1 front equal to 0 uh, we lose the q values that array value everything we cannot track then size equal to q here it returns how many values so first you keep a count and initially count is 0 then you move from front to rear and count the number of elements then we return the value now this is the main program where we have in the menu driven we have written all the uh, uh, operations which you are going to do and when you enter the 9 it means it is exit so here we uh, declare an uh, that is an instant an object is created of this type q class okay q class where we have already declared that then uh, we can access all the functions so using q1 dot is full we check for full then check for empty then here in main program we get the value to be added that we pass it to the end queue and then deleted element the deleted element is printed and here we again we call p print queue etc now i just execute this program Yes, now I am entering data, 3, now I am going to add some data, again 3, this 4 data has been added, now we will just print the queue, see this is the first value printed, so front pointer will be there, after that you add 20, now rear, front and rear first it both are pointing to the same element, then the rear is moved, 20 then this and then now rear is here and front is here now i am going to remove an element so the removal can be take place only from the front now we'll see now the value is removed the first value now we'll see what is the current position of the queue see here this has been made as a front now now then how many values are present that we can see dq that is size three elements are there so now i would like to check for peak see this is the first the one which is pointed to a front element. Then I am destroying this, uh, destroying the queue. Yes. Now I check whether queue is full. No. The queue is not full. Then queue is empty. I am asking. Yes, queue is empty because just now I have destroyed. So now 9. 